top, and that's headed, but it's right ahead to Dunfield. Dunfield to Camilo! What a save by Fry! Offside flag is up at any rate, so it would not have counted. Vancouver still looking to taste it for the first time. There was a conditions there. Those back passes are dangerous, aren't they? And now it's resulted in a turnover. Vancouver claiming for a handball and not getting it. Hasley is furious. We're going to see what Hasley has a problem with here, and, and, and rightly so, because you see what happens here, and this all started with a bad pitch here, but Hasley tries to flick it over to Guzman. He sticks his hand out, and that would have been a clear breakaway and a potential red card for DeGuzman. That was a goal-scoring opportunity, and the referee wasn't far away, and he, for some reason, decides that he's going to wave that away. Wasn't sure that it was a handball, but quite clearly from the replay, it was. So, with it raining hard right now, it's only going to get worse than it already is in certain spots on this pitch. Yeah, it is, and this is where we're going to have a little pack here of how bad the surface is. I mean, it's becoming virtually unplayable, and especially in Toronto's defensive zone. Players have to play smart, but it's going to be more and more difficult, become more and more difficult for Toronto FC to score a goal because they now have to push it a little bit. Well, we're told we could be on the verge of holding this game yet again because look at this, Richard Eckersley just dispossessed there, and it's only one reason, and that's because of the water on the pitch. But we're told that we are on the verge of this game being held up again. It is continuing right now, but hang in there with us and we'll see what happens. There's a ball across. Oh, and they've equal if they scored, no, they have not. Boy, that was close. It went right across the face of goal, came bouncing back and nearly deflected in off Nolly, I believe, but they kept it out. What exactly happened here? Well, as the cross comes in, it eludes Nolly and he loses a flight of it. Then it comes back and he ends up making it a magnificent save on the goal line, somehow keeping that ball out of the back of the net. Meanwhile, here comes Cumiento. He can't get it out of his feet because of the water. Eckersley. There's Javier Martina. Well, well done from, Mar from Martina. Very well done. Ball was hung up into the wind. He knew that it was going to hold up. He was going to have a chance at it. Strikes that one over the, the bar, but. What we're being told right now is that Toronto FC would like to have this game canceled. Well, of and, course they would. Well, they're losing 1-0. But there seems to be confusion right now as the game will be put on hold, at least again for the time being, because the players are coming off the pitch. So hang with us here, and we'll try and figure out exactly what's going to happen next. But again, this is the second time this game has been put on hold because of the conditions. It was held at halftime because of lightning after a half-hour delay. We resumed play, but there is more lightning in the area. The pitch is borderline unplayable. And the teams have just been called off the pitch again. Let's head down to Louis Jean with our inventor. Louis, what have you got? Well, uh, Coach, it looked like you called the players off. Uh, obviously, player safety here with the thunder is, uh, and the lightning is very uh, major concern right now. Yeah, of course, it's too dangerous to play, to go on. And it's better that we stop now. Was it your call? I think for both. Guys. Okay, well, very short responses there from our inventor, but it appears as though, uh, well, obviously it's an vested interest for Toronto FC not to continue. Now, to be fair, there is lightning in the area, and it's never safe when lightning is that close, but Torderson is obviously not very happy with what's happened because his team is leading, and if this ends this way, Vancouver would advance. Here's Louis with Tater Torderson. Well, Tater, two delays in a game. Have you seen anything like this before? No, I don't think so. I've, 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 been, I've been a part of a delay of three hours, but, but uh, I didn't expect this here now, you know, especially because there was only one strike who came a few minutes ago, but, uh, but since then, nothing, you know, so uh, I didn't expect them to stop it again. Can you talk about the pitch? I mean, it seems like there's a lot of areas with a lot of water and accumulation. Yeah, it, it is not uh, definitely not uh, good conditions for, for playing, but we, I just feel we need to get this over, you know, and, and, and get done with it because uh, it's not that bad that we can't do it, you know. 
of course, you must be happy that you guys were able to score early in the game. Yes, I was, and I, I feel that we have had control so far. You know, they haven't created many chances, so so I definitely think that that uh, that we have had control on it. Are you concerned though for the player safety because we've seen quite a bit of lightning? Well, of course, if if, it's, if it is uh, if you have many of them, there was one few minutes ago, and since then we haven't seen any. So, uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Thanks. guys. Okay, well, there's the two points of view from the two coaches. Aaron Vinter obviously uh, wanting his players off the pitch. Torderson uh, realizes that safety is an issue but would like to continue. And the bottom line is, Craig, they got to get this in somehow because we got league games for both teams on the weekend. Yeah, and it's interesting to see the two different coaches because if the scenario was around the other way and he flip-flopped it, it would be the same situation that Vinter would want to get this played as well because they're in a good position, Vancouver, at the moment. And it doesn't look as though Toronto FC have a goal in them. At least they haven't shown much in the first hour of this. So you can see why they're frustrated and Vancouver need to get it done. Toronto want to get it done. But under these conditions and down a goal, you can see why Vinter wanted off the pitch with his players. Well, it continues to rain here at BMO Field. We played 62 minutes and 11 seconds. It is Vancouver leading Toronto FC 1-0. And we are into our second delay of the evening because of the weather. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 